Hey, I'm Chef Chris. I'm going to show you guys how to shuck an oyster. All right, so we're going to shuck a Taylor Pacific and show you how to do it properly. One of the main things for shucking oysters is to make sure you have a proper knife. These can be bought at taylorshellfishfarms.com or at any of our retail stores or oyster bars. So don't try to shuck an oyster with a kitchen knife or a screwdriver or any of these things you've heard online. Make sure you get yourself a really good knife. So let's start by talking about the anatomy of an oyster, just so you guys know what I'm talking about while I'm doing it. You have the hinge of the oyster and the cup of the oyster. When you shuck an oyster, you wanna come in through the hinge. So you're gonna gently wiggle that in until you can almost leave it to stand on its own. Push a little bit further, and then just like turning a key to a car, you open it up. You can use your knife and or your finger to prop open the top shell. And what I like to do is kind of look inside to see where the abductor is. What you want to do is drag your knife along the top shell to remove the abductor. And then what you do is just push right down and follow through just like that. If you want to dress them up, there's a couple of popular accoutrements like a shallot mignonette, lemons, or horseradish. And if you want to spice it up, get a little hot sauce. We recommend you eat these fresh right when you get them home. But if you keep them like this with a towel over top in the fridge, they'll keep for five to seven days. <laughs> there you have it. That's how you shuck an oyster. See you next time. I didn't choose the oyster. The oyster chose me.